Hi, my name is Jessica and I'm behind the wheel of my 2002 Porsche 911 996. Let's go for a drive. My dad worked at a Ford Porsche dealership and I just grew up seeing them. The first time I was in middle school and there was one parked in front of the break room and I used to go in and do my homework there after school. And I saw the back end of it and it, I thought it said camera and I was like, dad, why does it say camera? Like, why do they call this car a camera? And he was like, no, that's a Carrera. That's a really cool car. And I think that was like the first moment where I just started getting into the design of cars and uh, the, the Porsche 911 Carrera has just made an impression on me. It's different from all of the rest and, you know, hated amongst, um, you know, the, the Porsche purists. And I love it specifically for that reason because they all hate it. You know, the headlights are different. It's a little bit more uh, slender. It's longer. You know, the interior, early 2000s, it is what it is. But it still drives and feels like a Porsche, uh, you know, regardless of what it looks like. It's unique because it is the only one that's different, the 996. I come from a German family. My dad is half Hispanic, half German, and I went there when I was uh, six years old. My uh, grandma had a, a brain tumor and we went there because there, there wasn't a lot of time left for us to spend with her. We drove on the Autobahn, you know, they all had Porsches and Mercedes. Um, and it just you know, it felt like I was being introduced to uh, my heritage, my culture, and that, that just kind of stuck with me and all these images that I have of my grandma from when I was younger and her, you know, being in her cars and, uh, you know, engines in the back of the cars that she owned and, you know, just them being very different and she was she was a wild lady. She was a personality. And, you know, I remember that. I remember, you know, the earrings that she used to wear. You know, I just remember how she presented herself and uh, the way she danced. And uh, I just I feel a connection with her still. And I had a convertible Beetle uh, when I was in Vegas and I used to drive it um, around Lake Mead, you know, in the desert on these two lane roads, you know, with the top down and, you know, my hair blowing in the wind. And it was kind of like, you know, having a motorcycle and I kind of got it. It just, you know, clicked like that's where you're just free and you're out there and, you know, you've got the music blaring and you're just, you know, doing your own thing. and and it's just a feeling for me and the and the Porsche just kind of was me trying to get back that feeling. I told my dad and I told my husband at the time that I wanted a motorcycle and uh, both of them said absolutely not your mom it's too dangerous um, and so I said okay but I want a Porsche. So my dad sent me a picture of my car um, up on a lift. It was already in the process of being worked on. It had been neglected, there was no title, it was just kind of a, a reject. He said how about this one? You know almost as a joke and, and I said I'll take it and um, it just felt like me and the right thing to do and so I I, I bought it with my dad and uh, you know he knew how much it meant to me and he could tell how excited I was and I just decided that I didn't need permission to do it and I did it. Now, I've never had a Porsche before or a sports car before so I really wanted to learn how to drive it and uh, when I got there and I saw all the cars and all the people and how fast they were driving it was terrified you know it was like they're gonna run me over I don't I don't think that I can go out there um, but then I met my instructor, Bob the Butcher, and uh, he kind of calmed me down. Sat passenger with me, really funny, snarky guy. Couldn't have picked a better person to drive with. It's just like, you know, your conscience, he's just in the moment of, you know, where you're at, you know, break hard, turn now. Um, so you don't have to think about it. I didn't have to think about what I was doing and feel nervous. I knew that he was going to give me um, proper instruction right when I needed you know to be doing it and it just uh, it just flowed and felt organic and um, then when I drove with him I drove in his um, GT3 clone passenger and I saw him drive it all clicked 
Um, and after uh, doing a couple of laps with him, it was just a groove. You know, I think it's just passing down that family passion for vehicles. It was interesting, you know, kind of growing up that, you know, I almost didn't want to tell people that my dad was a mechanic because it's a blue collar job. Uh, but my dad worked, you know, really hard and uh, he worked hard because he loved it and he instilled that in me, uh, that work ethic, that passion, um, that enthusiasm. And I just want to make sure that my kids, you know, grow up uh, the same way. I think that's really important when you start thinking about, you know, shaping humans and who they're going to be and what's important to them. And, you know, if they can be, you know, car guys, um, they're going to be car guys. and. Uh, you know, my dad's a big part of that. You know, I'm really excited for them to just have the values, you know, that I was brought up with. When I'm on the track, I'm, I'm really just wanting to hit every turn uh, better and, um, and get through it, really feel like uh, I'm a part of the road and um, you know get faster every turn. I didn't know that I was going to uh, you know fall in love with being on the track but I, I really want to be a better driver um, and and do a couple of track events a year. I'm just really excited to, to be out there you know just you know, putting that helmet on and, um, you know, getting the seatbelt rash and, you know, having your, your shoulders hurt from really driving your car as a sport um, is just really exciting. Is it Porsche or Porsche? It's Porsche. <laughs>